In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for K2S, potassium sulfide. Potassium, that's a metal, and then sulfur, that's a nonmetal. When you have a metal and a nonmetal, you have an ionic compound. Electrons are going to be transferred, the valence electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So let's put S in the middle and then K on either side. Potassium's in group one, and those elements have one valence electron. Sulfur, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. So we said the metal would transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So potassium transfers one valence electron to the sulfur here. And because electrons are negative and potassium just lost one, it becomes a one plus. Same thing over here. The sulfur, that's gained two electrons. It's gained two negative charges. So it becomes a two minus. Let's put brackets around the sulfide ion here. And you'll often see them around the positive ions. That makes this the Lewis structure for K2S, potassium sulfide. What we've drawn here is called a formula unit. K2S is a crystal, and it's actually made up of a bunch of these formula units in a repeating pattern. This is useful here because it shows us how the valence electrons are transferred between the elements. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for K2S, potassium sulfide, and thanks for watching.